And probably this is, without question, the biggest money field ever assembled in any race, probably in horse racing. On that crack field of 12 giants in three-year-old pacing due at the gate in one minute. Last call for wagering on the first heat of the Tattersalls, one minute. Turning to the gate. First heat of the Tattersalls for three-year-old Pacers. They're at the post. And the gate is in motion. Dignitary and firing out from the outside along with uh, Marauder as they thunder into the turn. Marauder now ducks over against the rail on the outside up to get command is Pershing Square. On the inside, Discotech will get away second and here comes Nihilator, middle of the racetrack. He's charging early along the rail. Fourth, Town Council. Five, Ramblin' Storm. Six, Dignitary and seven on the inside. Roving Boy. Eight is Naya first as they head toward the quarter mile mark. Pershing Square has the lead but there goes Nihilator up to take command at the quarter. They're past that mark. 27 and four. They're rolling onto the back stretch. Naya later has made the top early as they hit down the backside for the half on the inside. Pershing Square second along the rail racing third. Discotech four Dignitarian five on the inside is Town Council six on the outside. Naya first seven along the rail is Ramblin' Storm moving on the inside. Eighth is Roving Boy on the outside. Wits Ends Wizard ninth now eighth. Next is Chairman of the Board racing 11 as they hit the half is Shawnee Almahurst at the back. Now Marauder who got shuffled way back. They're at the half mile mark in 55 and 2 and Nihilator leads them into the final turn. On the inside, racing second, Pershing Square. Discotech along the rail is fourth. On the outside, moving up third, Dignitarian. On the inside, next, Town Council. And Nihilator has it his way as O'Donnell sends him toward the three quarters off the half in 55 and 2, leading it by a length and a half. Dignitarian keeps moving up on the outside. Pershing Square is getting a trip along the rail. Discotech will need racing room. He's locked in tight. Nia first is on the outside, fifth. They're at the three quarters, 25 2 fifth. Those three-year-olds turn for home. On the inside with the lead, Nihilator. He's been dictating fractions. He's been top all the way. On the outside, racing second, Pershing Square. Along the rail, Discotech trying to move up. Racing fourth in the lane is Dignitary and fifth on the inside, Town Council. And Nihilator holds him off by a length and a half. Here comes Discotech at him. Discotech closing, but it's Nihilator. Home in 53 flat. Under the wire, second unofficially was Discotech 153, and that one on the first heat of the Tattersalls to... There's the fastest racing pacer in the world, the winner of the 1985 Little Brown Jug. Here he is, Nihilator. Nihilator from the first crop by Nia Trust, from Margie's Melody by Brett Hanover, bred by Indiana's Bob Gangloff, adding one more jewel and an impressive crown he wears. This one, the first heat of the Tattersalls. A winner now of two million and a half, racing to a world mark of 52 and four last year. Rolling. <clears throat> They're off 
fan pacing. Pershing Square first out on the outside. Nihilator away second on the inside. Between horses, Discotech quickly ducking over toward the rail third. On the outside, moving up next as they swing into the turn is Ramblin' Storm. Nihilator gives way on the outside, taking command Pershing Square. Now second, moving up Ramblin' Storm. Nihilator on the outside third. He picks up cover behind Ramblin' Storm. Fourth on the inside, Discotech. Five as they race toward the quarter, Dignitarian. Six, moving free wide, Town Council. Seven, Chairman of the Board. Racing eighth, Marauder. Ninth on the outside, Shawnee Almerst and Roving Boy can see the field as they're past the quarter and 27 and 2. They're on the back stretch and now on the outside. There goes Nihilator gunning back to the front, bowling his way to the front, leading by a length, a length and a half. On the inside, Ramblin' Storm now second. Third is Pershing Square. Four along the rail, Discotech. Five on the outside, Town Council. Six is Dignitarian. Seven on the outside with cover is Marauder. Eighth along the rail, Chairman of the Board. Ninth on the outside, Shawnee Almerst and trailing at the half mile marker is Ram Roving Boy. They're there in 54 and 3. They're into the upper turn. And Nihilator again leads them toward three quarters on the outside. Here comes Pershing Square charging up. He's second back three quarters. Ramblin' Storm along the rail third. On the inside fourth, Discotech as they head past the draw gate. Nihilator by half a length. Pershing Square on the outside is second. Ramblin' Storm still along the rail third as they're past that mark, racing to the top of the stretch. And at the three quarters and 23 and 1. Nihilator turns for home. Final quarter mile. He's in command by two lengths over Pershing Square. On the outside, Town Council moving up quickly now. Marauder, he finds daylight. He's third. And it's Nihilator by two and a half over Pershing Square in the final strides. On the outside, here comes Marauder trying to be second, but it's going to be Nihilator winning again. Nihilator, the world champion, hits the wire. 151 to fifths. And in the long history of the Red Mile, that's the fastest mile ever over this racetrack in a horse race. The fastest mile in the history of the Red Mile's brilliant racing. Secondly, he has become the world champion for two heats. And ladies and gentlemen, today, this pacer has become the biggest money winner in the history of harness racing. The biggest money winner now with two million 560,000 three lifetime dollars. How about it for Nihilator Bill O'Donnell? And the Red Mile track probably still a second away from being where it can be and per probably will be, barring more weather unforeseen weather for, uh, conditions. So this mile in 51 and 2, a big trip indeed for Nihilator. He has won the Tattersalls in straight heats, moving now into victory lane. Bred by Bob Gangloff of Logansport, Indiana, trained in the Houghton Stable by Apples Thomas, guided through these smashing victories by Bill O'Donnell. First crop by world champion Niatros, who did his thing right here at the Red Mile from Margie's Melody by Brett Hanover. And now it was discussed earlier when Armbro Ossie picked up one of those world records for Glenn Garnsey. And again, we are reminded of the many accomplishments of Glenn Garnsey. His records, we all know, will pass but his accomplishments and his contributions certainly will not. And no one would have loved it more than Glenn to see this great pacer because he always was the first to congratulate his fellow drivers and their record accomplishments. And we too are reminded of that. So from five in this one, Nihilator, who already is the fastest ever over this track and hoping to add another Jewel to his crown, one of the few horses to turn him back this year, Marauder, in the field, and they're at the post.
racing. Naya first grabs the racetrack. On the outside, Naya later out second. Chairman of the board away third. Discotech thundering out fourth, and they're rolling as they hit the turn. On the outside, Discotech. On the inside, Naya first. Naya later ducking back, hunting cover. He'll find it third. On the inside now, Chairman of the board fourth. Along the rail, racing fifth, Happy Alki. Six on the inside, Town Council. Seven is Marauder. And out the back is leading escort as that field powers around the turn, driving toward the quarter. And Naya first, not waiting as he's past the quarter. 27 and 3 is on the back stretch. On the inside, Disco Tech gets the trip. Second along the rail, Naya later waits third. Fourth on the inside, Chairman of the Board. Racing fifth down the backside, Happy Alki. Here comes Naya later, popping to the outside right now. And he begins his move. Was third, now second. And Naya later slipping past Pacers. He's on top by a knack. Half a length, a length before the half. Naya first, now second, third, Disco Tech. For Chairman of the Board, racing on the inside, fifth, Happy Alki. Marauder on the move from the back. He's six. Racing seven past that Marcus Town Council. They're at the half, 55 seconds. They're into the upper turn. And the leader is Naya later by a length and a half. On the inside, Naya first. And here comes Disco Tech squeezing out a third to the outside. Behind him, chairman of the board races fourth. Fifth is Marauder. He's come a long way. He's moving into contention. They're at the draw gate. Six, Happy Alki. Seven, leading escort. Eighth and trailing now as they're at the top of the lane. And turning four home is Town Council. And with the lead, Naya later past three quarters, 123-3-5. Final quarter mile. Naya later has the lead. Naya first, still second. Disco Tech third. Coming on, chairman of the board on the outside, Marauder, who's come a long way, is still closing ground. And it's Naya later now with four lengths on the field. Naya later cruising for Bill O'Donnell. Naya later is going to score another one. Naya later hits the wire. 51 and 1. 51 and 1. It'll be a photo for second between Naya first and Marauder. And there is the quickest race mile in the history of the Red Mile. And a few short years back, we saw Clint Galbraith here with the great sire of this pacer with Nia Choss bring fame, more fame to the Red Mile as he paced a time trial in 149.15, which still stands, of course, as the fastest ever by a standard red. And not surprisingly, his son, Niall Lader, has become the fastest ever in a race and has set the track record here at the Red Mile. Today, fractions of 27 and 3, 27 and 2, 28, 3, with the last quarter in 27 and 3, produced this mile in 151, 150. And as you saw, under no stress whatsoever in that final time on 27 and 3. He, like so many other champions of the sport, is from a Brett Hanover mare. He bred by Bob Gangloff of Logansport, Indiana, trained in the Houghton Stable by Apples Thomas, owned by the Wall Street Annihilator Syndicate of Yardley, Pennsylvania. And a big plus for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Next year, he will begin his stallion career right here in the bluegrass. And what an addition it will be to the stallion ranks here. Ladies and gentlemen, world champion, Nihilator. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Chairman of the board on the outside between horses Nia first, but down along the rear list, Nihilator first out. He takes command before the quarter mile mark by a length and a half on the inside. Second now will be Marauder, who sneaks up along the rail. On the outside, third, Naya first. Along the rail, racing fourth is Chairman of the Board. Racing fifth on the inside is Disco Tech. And trailing that field, Town Council, as they drive to the quarter. And Naya later heads them by a length and a half. On the outside, hunting cover, finding it second now is Naya first. They're at the quarter. And 26 and 4, thundering down the box stretch toward the half mile mark. And Naya later may let it all hang out on this one. He leads it by a length and a half. On the inside, Naya first. Along the rail, third is Marauder, Ford, Chairman of the Board. Five is Disco Tech and trailing that field, Town Council. And now the pace slowed as they approach the half mile mark by Naya later. He leads for Bill O'Donnell. Naya first, wait second. Marauder is third as they reach the half mile mark. At that station and pass it in 54 and 3. Two fifths of a second ahead of the record pace in the first heat. Racing into the upper turn with the lead, Naya later. Naya first, second, third on the inside, Marauder. Ford, Chairman of the Board. Five is Disco Tech and Town Council at the back of the pack as they Sweep around the turn, driving toward three quarters. Nihilator leads it by a length, and 
now. Here comes Marauder. He's the first to move to the outside. Marauder, dead game, up to challenge. They're at the three quarters. Annihilator heads them past that mark. Marauder on the outside. Nia first, third, 124-3. Top of the lane. Annihilator on the inside. On the outside, Marauder. Down along the rail, third is Nia first, looking for racing room. Between horses, fourth, moving to the outside now is chairman of the board and discotheque and trailing town council. Nihilator holds them off on the outside, Marauder. Along the rail, Nia first. And coming on the extreme outside, chairman of the board, Nihilator is going to win another. Nihilator by two and a half lengths. Nihilator home on top, battle for second. It'll be a photo for place between chairman of the board, Nia first, and Marauder. Photo all Lexington's Red Maya. Into victory lane. One more time. In his brilliant career goes Nihilator. This race is the headline broker's four three-year-old pacers named for the headline broker's agency, a full-service bloodstock agency established in 1977 by Michael Prakis. Michael Prakis moving now into Victory Lane to make presentation. And during its relatively short existence, Headline Brokers has made its presence known in the standard bread industry through the services it provides. In the past few years, many prominent stallions have been represented during their syndication by Headline Brokers, among them world champion Baltic Speed, million-dollar winning three-year-old of his year, Joie de Vie, Kentucky Futurity winner Jazz Cosmos, and the classic stakes winning Mystic Park. And Headline Brokers is proud also to have sold the dam of the fastest trotter in the history of harness racing, the world champion 1985 Hamiltonian winner, Prakis. Also, they sold as a yearling at public auction last year's grade, they sold last year, this year's grade one, who won the million three Woodrow Wilson two-year-old pay. So Mike Prakis has made presentation of the Headline Brokers Pace Trophy. to Nihilator, who adds one more feather to his hat, one more jewel to his crown, one more stakes victory. Ladies and gentlemen, world champion, Nihilator Bill O'Donnell.